Calgary, Calgary Wads, Trajectory Tuesday. We're here daily to connect and share with warriors like yourself committed to lives of growth and mastery. On this Trajectory Tuesday, I'm going to chat about a recent trip I had to Tony Robbins Leadership Academy in San Diego, California. I had the Leadership Academy all week long and to talk about some things that occurred there. I heard this incredible speaker, one of the most uh, amazing speakers I've ever heard, that blew my mind with one key distinction I think is perfect for Trajectory Tuesdays. Um, her name was Siri Lindley, and uh, Siri was someone who became a world champion triathlete after not knowing how to swim at the age of 23, and would go on to train two triathletes to world championships as a coach. Now, all of that is mind-blowing, but the piece that was the most mind-blowing to me was that Siri um, was approaching the U.S. trials, and she was already a world-class athlete in the triathlon, and she was expected to come in at worst second, potentially first, and going into it, she trained harder than she ever trained. She was doing everything right. Going to bed at 7 o'clock, watching her diet, measuring her food, washing her food, all these insane uh, workout regimens. Everything was being done in her mind at the most optimal level. Top coaches, top program, top situation, you know, heading for the United States Olympic team. And when the race came, for a variety of different reasons that, that are not that relevant for this point, but incredibly relevant on a larger scale, but for a quick two-minute video, I'm not going to go into it. Um, Siri, um, in her own words, choked and ended up not making the team. And not only that, not even finishing the race. She went into a significant depression. It was a very challenging time in her life. And then she ended up uh, deciding to go train with this group in Europe. And when she, when she got there, on her very first day, um, if I remember the story correctly, um, she ended up, previously she only swam 2,500 meters for her longest swim in training in her life. They had her swim 7,500 meters. And she was absolutely dead after she got off the airplane, hadn't even eaten breakfast yet. And then they told her, okay, now it's time to go home. I'm going to bike 20 miles off of the, up this insane steep hill. Then before she even uh, was able to finish her lunch, they drove her back down the same mountain, and she had to run 20 miles back up the hill, all in the first day of training. Mind-blowing, complete pattern disruption, had worked harder and done more than she thought it was humanly possible and had ever done before. And maybe I think she's, I think she's suggesting in the back of her mind that she thought maybe that was the first day, or they were just like indoctrinating her or something. But no, the second day, it did the same thing. And the third, and the fourth. On the fifth or sixth day, uh, she went to the coach and said, I can't lift my arms up. I can't lift my arms, like, you know, past my waist. I can't swim. And the coach just looked at her and said, find an FM way. And she said, she cried, she wanted to quit, she called home, talked to her mom. She had, like, thoughts of quitting continuously over the course of this beginning period because she had never done anything like this. But this wasn't somebody who was uninitiated. This was somebody who worked at the highest world-class level in training and now found something that blew her mind. Well, long story short, Siri went on to become a world champion and the person that brought her out here, the person that was you know, super driven, sort of the leader of this group of female athletes, was somebody that she passed um, in the last mile, I believe it was, of the run to win uh, the gold medal in the world championship. So my point for this on Trajectory Tuesday is I sat there in such humility and just blown away. Because, you know, sometimes you sit back and think, hey, I've worked hard. I'm, I'm, you know, making things happen. And, you know, I certainly feel proud of some things that I've been able to accomplish. And I just sat there and thought, my God, like, what more could I possibly do if this is what this woman, a world-class athlete, did? How hard it is to be a world champion at anything, let alone the triathlon. And I was sitting there going, my God, how much more can I give? What can I do? There's so much more inside of me, so much more energy, so much more uh, in terms of working smarter and, and harder. And I sat back and I was so grateful to have heard Siri speak. And it was one of the top moments for me of the entire week out there, which I certainly wasn't expecting because, in fact, I thought we were going to be talking when, when she started talking, you know, more about, um, you know, athletics and maybe physical training. And I was blown away by how she made me really consider what trajectory was all about as I'm sitting here giving you know, these videos, putting these together. So today in Trajectory Tuesday, think about Siri when I just described a world-class athlete taking their game to an exponentially different level in terms of training when she was working what she perceived to be as hard as humanly possible, and by most people's standards, she was. And it took it to a completely different level. Where can I take it? Where can you take it? Where can we take it? Hey, it's Trajectory Tuesday. I'm Sean Calgary. If you like what we're talking about, please keep sharing this. Please keep giving the message out there. Have an awesome day. Thank you.